Hey kids, this is Clear. Let's play Metroid Fusion. Or let's hide behind the save point. Whatever. But we got the plasma beam last time. And also, the plants like took over a generator or something. And also we got shot out by the SAX and we got our first game over. Come on, there are those jerks. Still icy. Missile every last one of you suckers. None of you will survive the death missile laser thing. Whatever. I'm awesome. Okay, now I remember this room. See, like, you remember there was a room like this? Or I thought there was something secret, but there wasn't? Yeah, in this one there's totally something secret. Power bomb does not reveal it, but jumping high enough does. I think you're supposed to find it by leaving some of those spiky dudes alive and then they walk into the room. But that's dumb and boring. Let's just get this energy tank and be done. Also, you can't grab ledges while a power bomb is going off, I think. And I'm not sure why, but I'm sure there's probably a good reason for it. Oh, well, it's not like someone would do something like make a rock pack around that. Who am I kidding? Someone told me. They'd be a jerk. That's right, theoretical, fictional person. You are a jerk. And this is a power bomb block. Okay, we're done in this sector. Like, done more than once. There is that one room that has lava in it. But I don't feel like going. I do kind of feel like getting that one power, but yeah. We'd have to take the long way around. That would also mean going and getting the thing that requires us to be able to go through the lava area, but you know. You know. No. Just no, okay? Actually, did it even go into that lava room? I mean, it's not available on the map. I know that it's a lava room, because I've been in there before, but. Well, whatever. Weapons energy fully restored. Let's go tell Adam we got back the plasma beam. Hey Adam, we got back the plasma beam! And that's surprising, apparently. Man, you don't have to tell me twice. Oh man. We don't catch a break here, do we? Now the only other data room we can access is busted. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's in Sector 5. We've seen a giant hulking shadow flying around the, like an old place. Call me crazy, but I think that thing is probably the culprit here. I mean, it's not like it's going to be those weird crab monsters. That'd just be silly. Those are damages. Those are roadblocks that are annoying. I'm the pinnacle of wizardry. I'll, I'll just ram my head into a wall and that'll improve my ability to be a clever person like tenfold, twelvefold. It's like an auction of how clever you are. Okay, enough stupid stuff. Hello again, Adam. Tell us where the thing is that is obviously destroying everything. The Nightmare. This is the first time a creature like this has ever appeared in a Metroid game. There have not been any prior instances of Samus encountering the Nightmare ever. And it can manipulate gravity, which means we kill it and we get the gravity suit and we stop looking ugly as hell. That's a problem, though. But... I think we can probably go to the data room first and then work our way around from there. I mean, if the, da if the damage is staggering, we can easily track the thing. It's probably just destroying as it goes. I'm not gonna bother with recharge. Okay, so this area looks fine. It's still full of annoying crab things, but you know, what is it these days? Now, how about over here? Oh, yeah, this is definitely looking a little damaged. How about up here? Power up. I like a power up. Vaporize that thing. And let's check if there's anything else here. Yes, there is. Alright. Now let's go over to this wall that's been blown clean apart. 
Windows are totally gone, but that's not a surprise either. And let's do this. Preferably while opening the door first. Nah, I could have done a shine spark from there, but I didn't think about it. It's okay, they're not a very high thought maneuver. Just charge into stuff until it explodes. Anyway, more power bombs. Let's use another one. Power bombs solve all problems. Anyway, I don't think nightmares around here. Like this area, there's maybe this wall can be destroyed. Let's try this. Speed into the wall. That doesn't do it. So, yep, that wall is as destroyed as it's gonna get. So downstairs. Down these stairs, which are totally stairs, you know, not just levels. Just a giant gaping space in between, because they totally plan this area out. This place used to be frozen over, but it seems to have been too destroyed to let that happen. Yeah, that's not getting used anytime soon. Also, the security door up top is destroyed. Now, I could go forward, but there was a thing over there, like in this room here. Yeah, that floor is totally fake. Let's go up here first. I will explore the rooms. Cool intersector trap. First, there's a secret in here. Where is the secret? You know, this would probably be a bad idea. But thankfully, this isn't Super Metroid, so that doesn't shatter it and, you know, cause it to fly out into the void of space. But let's do something interesting first. Let's see if we can shine spark our way out of it. Second, I don't know what the. Okay, so it's not shine spark that does it. Oh, it's screw attack, which we don't have. Actually, the screw attack is like one of the last things you get in the game, and by the time you get it, you're pretty much at the end of the game anyway. But if you want to get all the stuff, you need the screw attack, so... There's like a very brief window before the end of the game, and you have the screw attack. So, once you do get the screw attack, and you get access to all the other areas, try not to go into any navigation rooms that you plan on going backwards from. I guess is a good way to put it. Basically, plot happens. This is a Metroid game where plot is an actual barrier, which bother that bothers some people. Doesn't really bother me that much, but, you know, I'm just that one dude. Oh hey, there's water. Oh hey, I missed a ledge. Oh hey, there's space pirates underwater for some reason. Where do you think you're going? You are going nowhere. Yeah, we are way over here. Let's go engage the nightmare face and not be able to dodge lasers because of gravity. And my dog is licking the bed with you. Dog, stop it. That is no. That is not working. Also, that thing is. Is that supposed to be a thing space pirates can actually do? Or. I don't know. I do not know. Also, we can't speed boost underwater because we do not have. The ability to make enough speed or something, I don't know, it probably made sense. But we can go get the gravity thing and then we can actually do that. Those guys have no such problems, but they also died to three missiles, so we have three missiles. We have 113 missiles. It's not a multiple of three, but that does mean we can kill a lot of these. These guys take two missiles. We can kill slightly fewer dudes than we could before, but... You know, I really don't care. I don't think you care either. I think I'm gonna powerbomb these guys. Everything is dead now. Hooray! Get some powerbombs. We can turn into a red guy. Give me a red thing. Yes! Delicious! Feast upon your delicious cherry flesh. Okay, I think... Up here, prizes. Up here is a save room. Yeah, we may as well. Anticipate the boss might actually be kind of a problem. Like, this is the point in the game in which stuff actually starts to really hard kill you. Kill you the hardest. 
maximum kill difference. So, yeah, careful. I'm being careful. Look how careful I'm being. I am being careful and investigating all the walls behind the cave walls. They're just destroying doors everywhere. Like, honestly, how are people even supposed to get in here if they keep destroying all the doors? Anyway, that's an eyeball door. We do not want to go that way just yet. We can go that way eventually. Oh, right, this is the way. We have to destroy the floor. That thing, which also dropped a red guy. Okay. And that's totally a speed booster wall, isn't it? Dog wants to go out, and yet it is a speed booster wall. So, uh, let's go fight Nightmare, I guess. I feel like gravity, but we have the advantage of plasma being on ice waves. I think we can win this. Come on, eyeball door. You aren't an obstacle. You're a thing made of food that I will eat. I need to stall me. No more of that. Okay, now, that is a total trap that I can see coming a mile away, so... Ha! I'm clever. That's not the intended way you're supposed to go about that, by the way. The intended way is to go up there instead. But screw that, I'm clever. What's down here? Oh, hello. Man, you're an ugly sucker, aren't you? ugly sucker dude. He can hover. He can shoot lasers from his arms, which he's not actually using a punch right now. Ow. He still stinks quite a bit though. So let's try not to use lasers. So let's try not to get collided with a bunch of times. Uh oh. Gravity has kicked in. Our missiles will no longer fly because of the smashing against the floor. Now it's suddenly really actually a
I will not put on a torrent site for you. Just have to be satisfied with terrible, terrible shows. Except not even that, because now I'm going to eat you, and you will be delicious. Goodbye, ugly color. And low water. Also lava immunity. They didn't tell you that, but you're totally immune to lava now. Oh, and the most important part. Yeah, snazzy, stylish, purple and blue. Or maybe it's green, but either way, we look awesome now. If you don't think that's awesome, I don't even want to know. And yeah, water does not affect us. Now freely space jump, do speed boost, and I think there's probably one other thing that's gravity dependent, but whatever. Let's go through them all. The question is, how is the best way to get back? Ah, oh, we'll figure something out. Is there a good way to get back right now? Like, I'm not sure, actually. I'm not sure where we are and how we got here and what might be in our way. Oh well, we can always just explore. I like exploring. That's the way we're exploring, but we will handle that in a second. There is, as you recall, a little legend found in the back here. Oh. Thanks. Thanks for morphing into a mermaid. You have made everyone's lives so much better by morphing into a mermaid. Now I eat your friends. Okay. Yeah, that's totally a fake wall on the other side. You can see it from here. Alright, let's go. Missile it. Excellent timing. Check out how excellent that timing was. And here is... Ooh, this place is still frozen. Fake floor, fake floor. Fake floor. And you can actually find out where the fake floors are with the power bomb beforehand. Like, hang on. But this has a problem. Yeah, th if you do that, then you can't actually activate the... Upgrade at that point, so be careful. We could space jump all the way back to that nature. There's this wall here first. Let's see what's in there. We are now in sector four. Let's see, the way to sector four was. Oh. We can't go that way. We cannot go that way because there is security level four in the way. We may want to do something about that. For right now. Speed boost through that wall. We can do that now, so let's totally do that. Speed booster activate! Okay, let, let's just call it a day for now. I'm Kalir, this has been Let's Play Metroid Fusion. Next time, we're in Sector 4 now. I'm not quite sure why, but you know, it's Sector 4. There's water. We don't care because we're in a gravity suit. We have power bombs, whatever. Life is awesome. See you later.